Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dr. Kernu's YouTube channel, and today we will be discussing Vasipa. So, to start off the discussion of Vasipa, we first have to discuss triglycerides. Now, triglycerides are a form of fat or lipids. That are derived from dietary sources, and they can be associated with different diseases. Some health conditions may increase blood triglyceride levels, which include kidney disease, diabetes, and obesity. Levels of triglycerides may be tested, and there are ways to lower triglyceride levels via lifestyle choices or medication. In the bottom right here, we have a little summary of the different levels of blood triglycerides, which we may consider healthy, borderline high. And high. Now, to speak a little bit more about the association between triglycerides and the risk of cardiovascular events, uh, one notable point is that triglycerides themselves are not atherogenic. High triglyceride levels often reflect increased levels of atherogenic particles and other lipid abnormalities. So, here's a statistic that provides a bit of context into the association between triglyceride levels and the risk of cardiovascular events. In this cohort study of 197,000 patients with established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk, we can see that there is a real-world association between triglycerides in their blood and the risk of cardiovascular events over a median follow-up of 2.9 years. And so we can see this trend in the graph on the right here with the x-axis showing the triglyceride levels in the blood in units of millimole per liter and the outcome of the risk of cardiovascular events on the y-axis here. Now moving on to the main star of the show, Vasipa. Vasipa is a prescription medication made of eicosapent ethyl, or IPE, an altered form of eicosapentaenoic acid, or EPA, which is a type of omega-3 fatty acid. When taken alongside statins, it helps reduce the risk of heart attacks, strokes, chest pain, and other cardiovascular problems. If you or a loved one have cardiovascular disease, diabetes, high triglycerides, or other risk factors of cardiovascular disease, then Vasipa may be for you. While the mechanism of action behind Vasipa is not fully understood, it is believed that it works through multiple mechanisms. First, triglyceride reduction. Our liver produces very low density lipoprotein, or VLDL, which carries triglycerides through the blood. Too much of it, that's like a traffic jam in your blood vessels waiting to happen. Vasipa acts like a traffic controller, keeping things moving smoothly by reducing triglyceride production in the liver and helping clear triglycerides faster. Next, it fights inflammation. Your body naturally produces arachidonic acid, or AA, which fuels inflammation, kind of like dry wood feeding a fire. Vasipa competes with AA, replacing that dry wood with fire-resistant material so inflammation doesn't get out of control and damage your blood vessels. Finally, it protects the endothelium, which are the cells lining your blood vessels, by keeping their membrane stable. Cholesterol can cluster together, forming plaque in your arteries, like cracks in a wall that make it vulnerable to damage. Vasipa acts like a mason, reinforcing those walls to keep your arteries strong and stable. Now that we understand what Vasipa is, let's talk about the efficacy of Vasipa. In order to do this, we're going to be discussing two important trials, the ANCHOR trial and the REDUCE IT trial. So the ANCHOR trial focused on short-term lipid management over 12 weeks, while the REDUCE IT trial focused on long-term cardiovascular outcomes over five years. Both trials used a 4-gram daily dose of Vasipa, but their goals were different. The ANCHOR trial primarily measured triglyceride reduction, while the REDUCE IT trial assess risk reductions such as heart attacks and strokes. The ANCHOR trial found that Vasipa reduced triglycerides by 21.5% compared to placebo, along with improvements in low-density lipoproteins. Reduce It also showed a median 19% triglyceride reduction, but was much more focused on clinical outcomes. This trial demonstrated a 25% relative risk reduction in major adverse cardiovascular events such as a 31% reduction in heart attacks, and a 28% reduction in strokes. This proved that lowering triglyceride levels isn't just about numbers. Overall, Anchor established Vasipa's role in lipid management while Reduce It confirmed its long-term impact on cardiovascular health. 
The Seppa is typically sold in 1000 milligram or 1 gram capsules, and the pack size is that you purchase 120 capsules at a time in most retailers and pharmacies. Each pack of 120 on online pharmacies runs from about $300 to $400 Canadian, and the government of Canada has agreed to a $2.45 Canadian dollar per capsule price uh, for the drug benefit price. Regular pricing for this drug is actually covered by the Ontario Drug Benefit, but only for eligible patients, and a criteria exists for that. However, patients under OHIP who meet the Ontario government criteria can get the SEPA for free through the Exceptional Access Program. To qualify for this program, you must be 45 or older and have been diagnosed with cardiovascular disease. These include coronary heart disease such as heart attack, cerebrovascular disease such as a stroke, or peripheral artery disease. Your triglyceride level must be high between 1.7 and 5.6 millimoles per liter. You must have a high level of low density lipoprotein, also known as LDL cholesterol, and you must be taking a statin, a cholesterol lowering medication, at the highest dose you can tolerate for four weeks. Individuals applying for this program must have their blood test done three months before starting Vasepa. Again, triglyceride level must be between 1.7 and 5.6 millimoles per liter, your LDL level should be between 1 and 2.6 millimoles per liter. However, if your LDL cholesterol level is higher than 2.6 millimoles per liter, your doctor may still consider Vasepa if you're on a st stable statin dose or have statin intolerance. The initial approval lasts two years and if the treatment is helping without any serious side effects, all patients will be considered, and when it's renewed, the duration will be five years. So now you might be wondering, how can I actually join the Exceptional Access Program? Well, if you're a patient of Dr. Kernew, check your email. If you qualify for complete coverage by the Government of Ontario, the clinic has already sent you an email with an OCEAN form specifically to inform you about Vizipa and to help you with next steps. If the beginning of the form looks like this, you're in the right place. For more information about Ontario's Exceptional Access Program, call the number on the screen. Next, for patients prescribed VSEPA who have private insurance, the VSEPA Assistance Program offers a large discount of 50%, which brings the cost to $147 per month or approximately $4.90 a day. To enroll for this program or learn more, visit vasipaprogram.ca or call the number on the screen. Alternatively, you can ask your physician about these physical forms for enrollment into the VSEPA Assistance Program. We hope that this video helped you understand more about FACEPA. Remember, this video is only for informational purposes and does not substitute professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized medical advice. Make sure to check out our other videos on detailed information on triglycerides and how to reduce them through a healthy diet. Enjoy your week and stay healthy!